if your ex texts you after the breakup, but you can't get anywhere with them because they keep reminding you about all the things that you've done wrong and they're just angry and upset, watch this video. Hey, I'm Coach Benny and I help people get their exes back. And before I did this, I was a dating coach. I had to pay attention to what things tended to attract other people. And when your ex won't stop sending you walls of text, basically telling you that you're the bad guy or whatever, and you're really just not getting anywhere with them, no matter how much you explain yourself, no matter how much you show them evidence that you didn't do what they thought you did, okay? What you're dealing with in a case like this is, is your ex has a fearful avoidant attachment style. Now, typically speaking, a fearful avoidant is somebody that's been through trauma or abuse in their past relationships or even their childhood. And when you let them down, or at the very least, if they perceive that you might have let them down, they're going to trauma respond to that and they're going to put their walls up. Now, one thing you have to understand about the fearful avoidant is that their deepest wound is trust. They have a really hard time trusting people because oftentimes the people that were closest to them are the ones that let them down. For example, maybe they were beaten by some member of their family. And of course, the mind of the child in a case like that goes, whoa, like the people that are closest to me are unsafe. So when you let somebody like this down, uh, or if they at least even just think that you did, you know, they're really going to protect themselves because you're poking into their most sensitive spot. Now, where most people go wrong uh, when they're dealing with a fearful avoidance is that they'll over explain themselves. They'll try to produce a bunch of proof. They're going to end up qualifying themselves as to why they really aren't the bad guy. And that those conversations tend to go nowhere with a fearful avoidance. There is no amount of proof that you could produce in order to take away the trauma that they've experienced in the past. And so for that reason, when you're talking with them, you know, you can lightly empathize and just kind of, you know, deny or, you know, say your piece when they bring up, you know, whatever it is that you did that was bad. And if they keep going with it, you want to try to joke your way out. So that way you can lighten the mood and you're offering them a chance to stop trying to kill the vibe with their trauma response. But if they don't go for it, you need to be willing to draw a boundary with them and say, listen, you know, I'm sorry that you're feeling this way. I feel bad for whatever happened. But at the end of the day, if I stay in this conversation, I'm going to be subjecting myself to abuse myself. And I don't want to do that. So I'd love to talk to you later. Why don't you come back when things have cooled it down a little bit? And I'd be happy to talk to you then. And if you do this, you have to be willing to let them get mad, you know, fly off the handle, maybe not talk to you for a while. And unless you stand your ground on that, you know, you're really not going to get anywhere with that. And if you want my help getting your ex back, click into my profile, click the link, and set a call up with me where I can hear your story. And I'm going to tell you exactly what to do from here to get your ex back.